Okay, empaths, you're going to get taken advantage of if you don't follow these simple rules. Okay, you're gonna get taken advantage. So watch closely so you don't get taken advantage of. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about how to keep yourself safe as you have a gigantic heart and an open mind to reach out to other people and now you feel like you're super connected to all these different people. As an empath, you're gonna get yourself in trouble because you could let people in way too close. And once you start to let people in way too close, you could be in a place of getting hurt or manipulated. So let's talk about how to keep yourself safe by taking a look at all of the different layers of personal space that you have. You as an individual have more than just one layer of personal space. The common person, the common person, if you stick your hand out like this, that distance right there is like your personal space. And that personal space can expand or it can contract. But it moves based upon feeling safe and it moves based upon trust level with people. Now, this personal space actually has another line. Right here at your elbow, this is called your intimate space. So right where your elbow is, intimate space. Right where your hand is, is personal space. Like these two right here. Intimate space, personal space. As an empath, you do not let somebody in your intimate space unless it's your husband or it's your wife. That's the only person that gets into your personal space and literally can be inside that space and you literally share all of your emotion and all of your personal energy with that person. What happens as an empath, you open up to be able to receive information from other people. But what an empath doesn't understand is you need to keep this area around you closed. Keep it closed so that this person can't reach in and take advantage of you. Because empaths have their hearts really open because they reach out and sense and feel people and their minds are very open. And these people out here, there are people in the world that are actually mean. They're mean and they don't do nice things to people. And I would hate for that to ever happen to you because you have such a big open heart. So this space right here is called the social space. This right here is called the casual space, personal space, intimate space. And so I wanted to show you this picture so that you can realize you have four different protective layers around you. And these four different protective layers can alert you when something is not right, when something's not okay they can alert you. So if this person began to reach into your personal space and they cross this first line, if you have yourself set up for alerts or cautions, your own energy field can warn you of a person who could be a possible danger, a possible harm to you. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But instead of it being clear in here, where you finally get a warning, it could be too late. And now that person's too close to you and they literally become like an energy vampire to you. I know I just said that, but it's real. An energy vampire where they literally, since you're open, they just literally suck the life out of you. And if you have ever had that happen to you, you know what I'm talking about. An energy vampire is kind of a weird thing to say, but it's just a term we use to talk about people who suck the energy out of you. And you probably all maybe have met somebody like that, but we gotta be cautious of those people because before we know it, they've drained us of our energy. And you literally feel depleted as they're walking away. So you set yourself up with some safety guidelines of how to recognize when somebody is taking advantage of you. But to remember you have four protective layers, not just one. Not just one, you have four. And these two right here reach further out. 
they reach further out. So how you activate these two realms so that they can protect you and help you be super sensitive about people is you need to decide who can connect to you and who cannot. What type of person are you willing to emotionally, mentally, energetically connect to? Meaning, because in an empath, you reach out and you, and you sense and feel people. But what kind of person is a person you don't want to engage with? And what kind of person do you want to engage with? Here's an example. If this person was a person who hurts people and has no interest in personal development, that would be a person I would say goes on the do not engage with. So what this really looks like, it looks like a pad of paper with a line down the middle and on one side it says people I want to connect to or engage with and on the other side it says people I don't want to engage with. If you don't clarify where the line is, then your mind is just gonna reach out and connect to everybody. And you're gonna be reckless. And you're gonna reach out and connect to everybody and then somebody amongst all these people is gonna do something to hurt you. And that could be emotionally, mentally, physically, energetically. But to help activate these two realms out here, these two borders or boundaries around you, you need to decide who you want to engage with and who you don't want to engage with. But you have to drop the guidelines. Because if you have not done this, these two outer edges of who you are, they don't have rules to govern how they're gonna function and they can't give you the alert to tell you that there's some danger happening with this particular person. We must set the guidelines, we must set the calibrations so that our mind can warn us and alert us when those calibrations and lines have been crossed. So to activate these two, you decide who and what type of person you want to engage with and what type of person you don't even want to even reach out or even touch into their world at all. So hurtful people, manipulative people, people that are going to take advantage of you, people that are going to suck the energy out of you, people that are going to make you feel like you're the bad person, uh, people that are not teachable, you can still love them, you can still talk to them, you can still have a conversation with them, but you don't open up your gigantic heart and let them in. That can hurt you. So you make a list of all the people, the types of people you don't want to have those engagements with. But then equally, you need to write down the list that you want to engage with. And that'll help clarify how this outside borders and boundaries can protect you and sense and alert you of good people. So you want to work with people that are teachable, people who want their life to be better, people that are hurt, but they're willing to recover and mend their life, uh, people who are responsible, people who are accountable, people who um, are willing to try something new. So those are great people to reach out to and to engage with and to use your empath abilities to support and help with. But notice I've got two different lists. If you don't activate these two different lists of who you don't want to engage with and who you do want to engage with, then these outside boundaries and borders for yourself, your personal space boundaries, they don't know what to do. They just kind of let everybody in. And so then this person comes in and now they're like more connected and engaged with you than you thought they would be and then they might even get a little bit closer and then your warning light goes off, but they're literally energetically super connected to you. And now it could be too late. They could say something energetically or emotionally hurt you, manipulate you, make you feel bad, turn, turn the story around on you. And now you got to deal with them and they're that close to you. So you're the one who needs to create the personal rules. It's you. You're the one who needs to keep, creates the rules of who can and who can't. Because up until now, you've only had one space that you're governing. But activate these other three realms because you are deciding what is allowed in and what is not allowed in. For you to feel 
safe, and for you to be able to use your empath abilities at its highest level, you need to establish boundaries and rules because then you will notice that you can fully engage with people who are the right type of people to fully engage with. And you literally can be a type of person to sense danger, be able to sense danger way out there. And you could be in a, a room with a whole bunch of people and you literally could pick out the people who are reckless and dangerous. And that could, that could turn into a way of protecting your friends or protecting your family because you can sense and feel that because your outside bubble is literally that sensitive. And it can give you that warning and that alert so you can take action and remove yourself, get out of there, or adjust things so nothing happens to you. But I care about your safety and I care about your experiences. And I've seen too many people get hurt and they come to me and they're like, Kirk, why did this happen? And I, and I ask, do you have boundaries and borders that protect you? And they're like, what are you talking about? And I draw this picture for them and I said, what governs this line? And they got nothing. They got nothing. If we don't have any rules and boundaries that, that govern the outside lines, then the dangerous and the reckless can walk in. And they can just come right through that. And the closer they get, the more dangerous it could be. So it's about being safe. And it's also being, being able to sensitive to the right kinds of people. So you can have great experiences. You've got a great gift. You know, and the heavens have blessed you with a great gift. Protect yourself. Establish these types of conditions so that it can support you as you go around and supporting and, and caring for other people. Your gift has been given to you to help people understand themselves. Help them understand themselves, what they're going through and what's happening to them. Because you understand them even sometimes even more than you understand yourselves. But let's, let's, let's establish and wake up these outside lines so they can be a benefit to you. Hey, Impasse, really excited to talk to you and be able to share this great information with you. Number one, I love you and I care about you and I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. Uh, number two, subscribe. Don't miss any training videos because you notice I keep putting these videos out here for you to help you, help you understand yourself. And also number three, you want more training? This is what you do. Click the link below and attend my training course called Art of Mentoring. And I will help you understand what's going on between you and other people so you can be a better coach and mentor to people because empaths make fantastic coaches and incredible mentors. I would love to help you get organized in how you teach people. So click on the link below, check that out, and subscribe. All right, I'll see you on the next video.